Hi Hugo Reed. Welcome back. I have some fun books for you today. The first one we're going to start off with is Princess Hyacinth, The Surprising Tale of the Girl Who Floated. Do you see her up here floating? The king and the queen. This is written by Florence Perry Heidi and it is illustrated by Lane Smith. Let's see what happens in Princess Hyacinth. This is kind of a wide book, so this should be interesting. Get the whole picture in. Do you see Princess Hyacinth floating here? You might have heard of the word Hyacinth. That's also a name of a flower. It's kind of an interesting word. Do you see it here? Hyacinth. Kind of a long one. Right there. Princess Hyacinth had a problem. Well, you're saying everyone has a problem, but this was an unusual problem. Oh, she didn't look unusual, that wasn't it. She had two eyes with a nose between them, the mouth under that. You know, the usual things in the usual arrangement. In fact, if she was dressed up in her princess clothes, You'd think she was just like anyone. So what was the problem? Look at the words. Princess Hyacinth floated. Unless she was attached to something or weighted down, she just floated. Up, up, up. Do you think that would be fun? I've always thought it would be fun to fly. Camera's crooked. Um, let's see if she thinks it's fun, okay? There she is. She looks like she is either sad or has a heavy crown. Let's see which. So, the king and queen had little golden weights sewn into the hems of Princess Hyacinth's gowns and little diamond pebbles sewn into the tops of her socks. Her crown had the heaviest jewels of the kingdom and a rhinestone strap under her chin to keep it on. As long as she was all dressed up in her princess things, she didn't float at all. In fact, she could barely move. But the minute her crown was off and her gown and all that, up, 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 she would go in her royal underwear. Oh my goodness, she does have a problem. The only time she could take off her royal stuff was when she was in the palace. Then, if she floated, and of course she did, she'd just float up to the ceiling and they could always get her down in the morning. Look, cause she's sleeping and she has all of her blankets and she's still floating. And here they come with a great big ladder to get her back down. You would think it'd be comfortable to be floating though, wouldn't you? Why can't I float around outside? Was a question Princess Hyacinth had asked six million times. Because you just float away altogether, her parents explained. Poor Princess Hyacinth. She wished she could run outside like the children who came to play on the palace grounds. Instead, she sat at the window in her royal bathing suit, wearing a seat belt, looking at all the children having fun. Hmm, look, she has to be weighted down or tied down. And they're all out there swimming and having fun. That would be very sad, wouldn't it? One was a red-headed boy who could fly his sky blue kite higher than all the others. His name was Boy. He waved at Princess Hyacinth every day and she waved back. He smiled at her and she smiled back. Boy had painted a gold crown on his kite in honor of the princess. Wasn't 
that nice. Boy had come over to her window to say hello a couple of times. Well, seven times. She had counted every single one. This is kind of what we felt like with COVID when we had to stay home all the time, right? We just didn't see anybody. We just wanted a friend to come say hi. That's what Princess Hyacinth is probably thinking too. Today he walked over again. I like your kite, said Princess Hyacinth. I like your crown, said Boy. And I like you, he said over his shoulder. At least that's what Princess Hyacinth thought he said. Maybe he had just said toodaloo or yike doodle doo She couldn't be sure. A long way down from her window, isn't it? You see this? I'm getting her dressed, I think. After a while, the children left the palace grounds. I'm terribly, horribly, dreadfully bored, said the princess. She decided to go to the park. Of course, she had to get all dressed up in the princess' clothes first. The weights and everything. The crown and everything. Look, they lower it down. It's all, it's so heavy. They have to use like a rope and chains to bring it up and then they lower it down on her. Poor princess. And then she went off walking to the park. Well, she wasn't exactly walking. She was sort of dragging along. So heavy. Those are some fancy hedges, aren't they? Made them into arches. But there's no one there anymore. She's by herself, right? Oh, not totally. Here's somebody. She saw a balloon man coming toward her. Suddenly, Princess Hyacinth had an exciting idea. Mr. Balloon Man, she said, I'd like to float up there with the balloons. That, said the balloon man, is impossible. No, it isn't, said Princess Hyacinth firmly. If I took off my princess clothes, you could tie a string to my ankle and I could float. Oh dear, said the balloon man. But since she was the princess, she got her way. So she really wants to be without those heavy clothes and just feel regular, don't you think? There's the balloon man. Do you see Princess up here? She's on a string, it's holding her down. Princess Hyacinth took off everything from tip to toe except her royal underwear and put it in a neat pile under the umbrella. She left a sign, do not touch property of Princess. The balloon man tied a string to her ankle and held on to the other end and up she went. I feel like a balloon, said the princess. The balloon man walked through the park and Princess Hyacinth bobbed along with the balloons. It was pretty amazing. But alas and alack, somehow or other the balloon man let go of the string that was attached to Princess Hyacinth and up she went. Oh, wow, said the princess. Oh dear, look what's happening here. Even the little dog is coming. The balloon man ran to tell a policeman. The policeman told the palace guards. The guards notified the king and queen. Oh dear, said the queen. The king got out his binoculars so that he could watch the princess as she floated up and up. As long as I keep an eye on her, she won't get into any trouble, he said. But Princess Hyacinth floated higher and higher. But hey, she loved this free bird feeling. There's the balloon man going to the policeman, the policeman going to the royal guard and the royal guard going to the king and queen. She 
she's not unhappy, right? They're worried, but she's having a great time. Look at this. She whirled and she twirled. She swooped and she swirled. She zigged and zagged and she zigzagged. She zoomed and caroomed and cartwheeled. Ooh, she's having so much fun. She did handsprings and headstands, flip-flops and fandangos. It was the most fun she had ever had in her whole life. And all the time she was floating up, up, up. Now she couldn't even see the castle. Ooh, she's really high, isn't she? Oh my goodness, look at this picture. There's the castle. And there is the princess way up there. Do you see her? What else do you see up there? I see a few balloons. I never knew the sky was so high she thought. She saw something nearby. What could it be? She looked closer. What was it? It was her crown, her golden crown. What's it doing here? She had, she was close enough now to touch it. Look, it was the boy's kite with the painting of her crown. Oh no, before she knew it, she was tangled up. Now what? What do you think's gonna happen? There she is, she's still way up high. Do you see the king looking at her with his big binoculars right here? And she's way up high. Down on the ground, boy felt a tug and started to reel in his kite, princess and all. The king, who'd been watching her through his royal binoculars so that she wouldn't get into any trouble, saw the whole thing. Oh, hooray! Princess Hyacinth had been rescued. Here's the boy. That was lucky. She could have floated into outer space, don't you think? Boy was a hero. The king gave him a bag of gold. Now what? Well, since Princess Hyacinth had such a wonderful time floating up there in the air, she wanted to do that every single day. And... She did. Every day, she went to the royal palace. She went out to the pal. Every day, she went out to the palace grounds in her royal underwear, and up, 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 she would float. Then Boy would fly his kite up, 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 right next to her, and reel her in when she wanted to come down. There she is. She's having fun. I'm having a hard time turning pages. There we go. And then she would invite him into the palace for tea and popcorn. The problem about the floating was never solved, and that's too bad. But Princess Hyacinth was never bored again. Good. Look, they're having a big party. Do you see the little cat here? They're having popcorn. And that is a, hy a hyacinth flower. That's what they look like. So is this one. And that is the end. I hope you enjoyed Princess Hyacinth. I think it'd be kind of fun to float. I don't know about you. I don't know if you could float away, that would be a problem. But if I could just float and come back down, I would love that. I'll see you next time. Keep reading. Bye-bye.